Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to explain to you what Steam is and what Steamit is. Now if you're unfamiliar with the technology called blockchain, as well as I am, I'm pretty unfamiliar with it, um, this is going to seem like a lot of gibberish, but just, just know that I don't understand it either. I don't understand the blockchain part, because blockchain is confusing, but I understand some of the other parts. So. We're going to actually start with Steam, okay? Just the Steam. It is built, it's kind of like another cryptocurrency. It's another cryptocurrency like Bitcoin, right? And Bitcoin is built on the Bitcoin blockchain. And Steam is built on the Steam blockchain. You get it from the Steam blockchain. But the difference is, think of it, instead of mining for Steam, the thing, quote, basically prints out the Steam until it, decides that there's enough steam that's basically what steam does and you might be thinking well if there's a printer how does it print stuff and that's where steam it and the whole blockchain comes in it's very interesting technology here it's basically a big social experiment steam um has this app built onto the blockchain called steam it and steam it is think of it as a mix between reddit and Twitter and a little bit of Facebook thrown in there. That's kind of what Steamit is. And it's a social media platform where you share your ideas and stuff. But here's the thing, every upvote or every like is worth a tiny bit of the Steam. So let's just say I get five cents of upvotes. And I, you know, in the, let's just say seven days later, the price of Steam rose. So now that five cents is worth 10 cents. After seven days, those um, that post pays me out with seven or with ten cents of steam, and the thing prints out the steam and it gives it to me in my virtual wallet, and that's how it works. Now every like isn't worth um, equal amounts. The more you have steam, steam dollars, and steam power, and they all serve different purposes. Steam power is basically just steam, kind of like in a in a special wallet, just for the Steam social apps. Think of it that way. And if you have more Steam power, your like is worth more. So let me give you guys an example. You start out um, with a certain number of Steam. Let's just, let me just say your vote, every upvote is worth 15 Steam at the start. So when you upvote, the thing does all the math and your upvote is worth about one cent. Okay? So that's, if you have 15 Steam power, an upvote is worth one cent. So if you have 150 steam power, it is worth 10 cents. If you have 1,500 steam power, it's worth $1. Now they have a thing where if you upvote the amount of money your next upvote is worth is worth kind of lowers so you can't bot farm. I mean, there's people that use bots and that is actually okay. But for the long haul, those bots don't really get anything. They don't get anywhere. And a lot of people like this website because the way it works is it's decentralized, right? And so everyone who kind of uses Steam is kind of like their own little network piece, piece of the network. So um, a cryptocurrency recently got in Belgium got, you know, they got raided. So the servers got destroyed because the police raided them and the online wallets got taken down, right? But that cryptocurrency, the blockchain, you got to download the blockchain. Right? With Steemit, you don't have to download the blockchain. But with that cryptocurrency, you had to get download the blockchain because people mined it. So the blockchain was already on however many other computers had the blockchain. So after a while, yeah, they got raided and that sucks that the wallets are down. But uh, it was still being traded on crypto exchanges and people could still mine it. They just needed to deposit their coins into the wallet on the crypto exchanges rather than the wallets that the company that or the people that made it provided them. And Steam just has the online wallet. Now, not only do you have Steam it, but since it's connected to Steam blockchain, if you build other apps, they're kind of intertwined. So Steam, the Steam blockchain actually has its own YouTube competitor called DTube. I don't know why it's a DTube, but it works exactly the same as Steam it. You know, you like a thing or you like a video, you know, you get some money for it. But because of the way DTube is, you have to make at least two cents worth of the the steam because they need to take some of it for the servers and all that because they have to pay for video servers 
And they also have D Live, which is actually something that I've been experimenting with. That's where some of my live streams have been. And what is interesting about this, right, is the um, DTube and D Live have their own Steam accounts with a lot of Steam power. And they will actually upvote some things if they like them. So D Live, right, I got on D Live and they decided that my stream was very good and they gave me a $50 upvote. And the, the value fluctuates, so it was more like they gave me a 15 steam power upvote. We'll say that, a 15 steam power upvote, right? So even though the value of it's going to go up and down, the amount of the tokens that I have is still not going to change. So a 15 steam power upvote. And they did that to me actually three times in a row. And right now, those are worth $150. And now I have... Then when I get paid out, I will have 45 more Steam tokens, probably convert them all to Steam power, so that my likes are worth more. And it, at once, I thought it was a Ponzi scheme or a pyramid scheme, and I looked it up, and it's not really that. It isn't one of those. Because there was a lot of, there's a, this article that I found that explained it all. I don't, I can't find it anymore. It was something that has to do with, um, First of all, you don't need to pay any money into the website. So right there, that kind of... And there's other things like, even though the big whales, they call them the whales, the big people at the top have like the $300 likes, right? Your like is still worth the same amount of money, no matter what the price of Steam is. And that's their, their kind of mission on this website, is to make it so you just have to use your mind and you get paid for using your mind, or you get paid for making content. Now, is this better than YouTube, right? Because it's got the DTube, and DTube uploads directly to Steam. It. So is DTube better than YouTube? Right now, I would say yes and no for various reasons. I mean, you, generally speaking, if you're smaller, you make more money than if you're bigger on YouTube. But on YouTube, you have more of an audience reach. And search and discovery is actually nicer to you on YouTube than DTube. So take that as you will, guys. This has been a video on what is Steam, what is Steam it. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is something that I think I've been, you know, doing YouTube and I'm now I'm doubling, I'm adding this, right? I'm adding this to my thing. So real quick, if you're at the end of this video and you're a subscriber, I do a lot of streams on DLive now just because the money, it's nice because I need money for better computer equipment and I'm trying to wait I'm trying to wait for when the uh, cryptocurrency thing, the mining that has like ruined the price of computers, like I'm trying to wait for that to die down. But I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying. But DLive has been very nice to me. And I'll probably just change some stuff around. We'll see. But that's it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, you can tell me in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new. Because I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I will see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or YouTube video. Whatever I decided to make. That's a YouTube video. I meant Steam it post. Whatever. I'll see you in the next thing that I decide to make.